So I recently made it through the Dead Space remake and one of my favorite new features was the circuit breakers. Basically each breaker has a certain number of circuits that activate doors or other things and you can only have so many of the circuits active at any given time because the breakers only have a certain amount of power. So I thought this would be a really cool mechanic to try and implement in Doom. Here's what I ultimately ended up with. It's definitely not as cool or flashy as Dead Space, but all of the functionality is there and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So as you can see, much like in Dead Space, the breaker only has a certain amount of power that you can allocate to any of the circuits. So you can only have so many of the circuits active at any given time. This circuit allows us to open a door, turn on the lights, or activate a perpetual platform. The circuit only has a power capacity of two, however, so we can't have all three of these things active at once. We have to choose between two. As you can also see, the circuits have these sort of pipes on the ceiling that lead to the devices that they're activating. This isn't perfect, like for the perpetual platform, the pipe sort of just leads to the left of the platform. I had trouble positioning some of these pipes and getting them just right, but ultimately they sort of serve their purpose and give you this nice little visual representation of where the circuit's leading. Now let's look at a much more interesting example that I whipped up. Here we have a second circuit breaker on the map, and this one is interesting because it only has a power capacity of one. We have a tough situation here where there's a valuable item at the other end of this acid pool, but there's no way for us to cross. If we go up to the breaker, you can see that we can control the door that leads into the room, and we can raise a bridge that leads across to the item. The bridge is going to help us get to the item, but here's the problem. Activating the bridge deactivates the power to the door, which closes the door. If we open the door, it deactivates the power to the bridge, which lowers the bridge. So we can't have the door open and the bridge raised at the same time. The good news though is that I decided to implement another neat little mechanic that wasn't even in the Dead Space remake, and that is a sort of breaker upgrade. So you can see we have a switch here next to the breaker that requires a yellow key. If we collect the yellow key, and then come back to this switch and flip it, we have now upgraded this breaker so that it has an increased power capacity. So now we have enough power to open the door, raise the bridge, and cross to get the item. So that is my attempt at recreating Dead Space's circuit breakers inside of Doom. It's definitely not perfect. It doesn't look all that great. I think, you know, if you really sat down and took a whole lot of time, you could make like the breakers themselves look much fancier. You could probably also do a better job with the pipes, maybe use even 3D models or voxels for the pipes, and that way you could position them a little bit better and get a little fancier with them. But at the end of the day, I'm really happy with the functionality, and I think I totally nailed that aspect of it. These breakers basically function just like they did in Dead Space. I'm also going to throw the WAD down in the video description. That way, if you guys would like to download it and play it for yourselves and even study how it was made and how it was scripted, you can do so. The scripting relies very heavily on arrays, especially multi-dimensional arrays. So if you aren't an experienced programmer, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to decipher. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks everyone for watching. And if you haven't already played the Dead Space remake for yourself, you definitely got to do so. It is an awesome game. Highly recommend it. So thanks again for watching. This is Chubbs signing out.